Wow, it is a gorgeous day out in Miss Georgia, Merritt, BC. It is a beautiful day to paint outside. We were fortunate enough to pick this up on the weekend. And as you can tell, a little bit of rough shape. So we're gonna try and do something. Um, it's a technique I've never done before. So as I learn to do it, you're gonna learn to do it too. And get in your mind what you want. Get sort of a vision, maybe look in Pinterest or magazines or follow other painters that you like. Um, and and sort of get a vision of what it is that you want the end result to be. Um, with me, nine times out of ten, I don't usually stick to that and at the end it looks a little bit different. But we're just going to start and it's paint. So if it doesn't work and look the way we want, we do something different. It's that simple. So I've wiped the dresser down and I'm just going to, you don't need to really be super picky with your, with your first coat. We have a, a new mirror coming in here. So this, the mirror actually comes out to the edge here. So I can, I don't really need to worry about that either. Um, as always, when you watch me painting, I've got the little Dulux angle brush. My favorite go-to. If you get a brush stroke, you just do that, or a piece of hair. So with your first coat, you just want coverage. That's just what you're trying to do is cover your piece. You're going to have brush strokes. I don't really worry about it. You can see, mind you, it's warm out. You give it that, but you can see that this is as fast as I'm painting. It's drying, basically. Now I've base painted the drawer and I want to put our drywall mud on here and you know what if, if you there is some powder in there because I'm going a little bit thick for the the video doesn't matter it's just gonna blend in and all I'm trying to do is get some of this on here um, so that I'm going to roll my roller through it now that might kind of look a little crappy right now but when I'm finished it's not going to because I'm going to put some blue over top so I'm not worrying about getting in all the corners or all over everything. I'm not worried about that. And we want it thick in some spots, thin in others. Oh sure, bee sting. All these techniques that you're seeing on these projects, they are, okay, so I want to go this way and I want to go up towards me and I want to go up towards me again. So we're getting a bunch of dimension, which that actually looks quite crappy. So let's do this. Let's take a little bit off. And again, I want to go towards me. So I'm going to go through the mud. That's better. And I want to go through the mud. That's better. There we go. So you can see the designs that we're getting in here. Now we're putting a full coverage over top of this. So it doesn't matter that they're, they're not even. It doesn't matter and nothing about that because that it, all that's just going to be sort of hidden in the dresser. What the heck is that? I don't know. Horses going by. Horses being crazy. Okay, so now our, don't you just love the colors that you get on your hands? Um, this is why I don't have perfect manicures. So now you can see that we have put it on, we've put it on thick. We don't want it perfect. It's, uh, it's all dry. 
So now I'm going to dip my brush in water and I'm going to go into my paint only because I want it just a little more transparent and I'm going to do this. Now, I don't want to cover the whole thing because I want some of the copper to show through. But, and don't worry, like anything that you get on your edges and that, you, later on I just take some sandpaper. And it's like with any painting project, as we're going along, this looks horrible. It looks ugly. My sister is actually over there having a heart attack because we've never done this before. And she's really beginning to question if this is going to turn out like we envision it to. And at this point, I really don't know. But you can see it's not the the things are not perfect. We're, we're trying to get some texture and then we are going to put another coat on the rest of the dresser. We've got the top there. And all I'm doing is just putting a little tiny drop. And again, if it happens to run down, right now don't worry about it. And you can sort of see that it's, it is starting to get some cracking in it. So it's doing what we thought it would do. And if anything's higher or lower, it doesn't matter. We're going to distress it, sand it, lightly sand it down. So we're going to let that dry for now and we'll be back and I'll do the top of the dresser. Okay, so once again, we are back on here and just on the very top layer, we have added some of our thick copper oh that's looking beautiful beautiful okay so now we're back um, I've put a second coat on here the coverage is absolutely just beautiful um, and I've put my first coat up on here the mirror goes all the way so we're not going to see that and then we're going to put a little bit of, of copper up on our mirror clips. So I've got my little sanding sponge and what I all I'm trying to do and right now it looks really bad and my sister was having heart failure earlier when I was going doing this but I can feel this I'm getting down in all these nooks and crannies and I'm bringing out a whole bunch of dimension so now I'm going to start on this side here um, I've got my wet paper towel here I'm going to wet it a little bit more and again, another Dulux product, Old Masters Gel Stain. And I'm just going to put this on the top. Now I don't want to get it really close to the edges because I don't want the gel stain to go on my project. So I'm just kind of taking my wet rag and I'm working it in. See, I can get right close to the edge with that. Now, if for some reason, oh my, that is beautiful. Okay, so it was just getting a little warm down there. It's not super, super hot, but we just don't want a lot of heat on our paint. So now I've added some water to the top, and this is what we're getting here. So. Again, I, when I was going, it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. So I thought about it, and then I just added some water, let it sit on the top, and it's now turning out actually really, really nice. And we will get some really nice shine off that.
And then don't worry about any of that because we're going to just paint over that again. Okay, so we've got, I've got it down to the exact consistency that I want. Now I just want to add sort of a little light, light coat on it. Okay, so now normally using a crackle product you would apply the crackle and then you'd put a taupe coat on and it would crackle what's underneath. But we find that sometimes we put our crackle on and just leave it. We don't put a top coat on. We use the crackle as our top coat and it gives it a really cool finish. So I don't know if you can see in there Stephen. I put it on fairly liberally. I find that I, I don't know why it it just I find that the crackle just gives a little bit of a different finish than our paste wax or our liquid sealer. Like it almost, um, oh, I'm gonna step in my paint. It almost looks like a, a leather, doesn't it? You can see the definition. Okay, so now we have base painted the mirror to um, match the bottom of the vanity. And we have taken and mixed copper in with our paste wax so it's really really nice and creamy and now I am going to take our wax brush or you can use a rag if you want and I am going to add this color onto the top of the vanity and then we're going to let that dry and then we're going to buff it down so that we're going to get a distressed look with uh, the copper and we'll probably even take it down a little bit so that we've got a little bit of wood coming through. So we will be back in a bit with um, the top finished attached back to the bottom and we'll show you the finished product. Welcome back to the final saga of the desk. You'll notice now I'm calling it a desk because it's no longer a vanity because we have no mirror. So I don't know if you start projects and you have a vision of what they're going to look like and they turn out nothing like that. Well, you have to just keep going. Sometimes I leave things and that's what we did here. We left it for a couple days and we went back and we tried to work with the mirror again and we couldn't get it right. So instead of getting frustrated and leaving the project altogether, uh, Steve and Cindy and I decided that we it would be great if we just used it as a little desk in the corner of Miss Georgia a little writing desk um, of just a place where we can hang out read a book or something and so this is what the final product looks like um, I love the colors on the desk I like the style of the desk so I think the real um, lesson that I want to want to give out from this desk is that keep going it will eventually turn into something. Some projects have a mind of their own. They know what they want to look like and we got to follow that. So, um, I love the desk. I think it's going to fit in perfectly in Miss Georgia being imperfectly perfect. And maybe one day you'll see us use the mirror on another project or come up with something creative for that. So if you like watching our videos as much as we enjoy making them, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You have a wonderful Miss Georgia day.